We've now modified the user interface, so it considers view controller to be a collection view controller. But we haven't implemented any other data source methods to make that work. This works just like table views. So we get questions like, how many items are there? And what's an item number one that we need to provide sensible answers for? To begin with, I'll go back to the standard editor, close this pane on the right here, and open viewcontrol.swift. And we're going to provide the most basic implementation that allows our app to work. So we're going to say a method called number of items in section. I'll just do 10 for now. Give me exactly 10 items. And then we'll do sell for item at. And here we're going to make a new cell by doing let cell equals collection view dot DQ reasonable cell with root identifier uh, is person uh, index path four, and then return cell like that. So we haven't seen any of this code before, but it's not terribly hard. You can see it says items now rather than uh, rows. So it's self item at and number of items in section because rows are no longer a thing, right? You know, in table views, they'd have row zero, row one, row two, you know, vertically down the way. Uh, collection views work in grids. So they can go left and right or in other kinds of arrangements. So there is no concept really of rows so much anymore. Anyway, returning 10 items from this method here, how many things are totally in this section? Then in self item at, this thing has to return a UI collection view cell. And we've already made one of those things, uh, our person cell, so we can DQ that cell with our identifier person and return it. Just like table views, this will automatically try to reuse collection view cells. So as soon as one scrolls out of view, it can be recycled, so you don't have to keep on creating new ones. Now there's a catch here. We have said that our person cell is actually a custom type called person cell. But DQ reusable cell with identifier returns a general table view cell. If I do co completion here, you'll see that cell is a general UI collection view cell. It's not our type person cell, which means we can't access its properties. To fix that, we have to try and do a typecast here. We're going to say guard let cell as that method there, conditional typecast as person cell else that we couldn't get a person cell from this thing what are we going to do as as, as our xcos helpfully warning us here we must return from the current scope we're going to exit this method somehow now we've failed here clearly we have not found a person cell for our release identifier person so we cannot continue so it's gone hideously wrong in our code shouldn't even get this far in testing we're going to use a swift function called fatal error it lets us express the idea that our code has absolutely failed. It, the program should just crash immediately. Don't continue. And we'll do a message string here saying, unable to DQ a person cell. Boom. And when that line gets hit, if that line gets hit, it will crash immediately. There's no need to return any sort of collection view cell from this method. Just bail out immediately. Something's gone very, very wrong. So now I'm going to press Command R to build and run our code and launch it in the simulator. And all being well, we should see the start of things really coming together. Okay, that's looking good. You can see we have a number of collection view cells laid out here. Let's scroll nicely. There's a label. You can't see the white background of our collection view cell. Let's just fix that really quickly. We've got a main dot storyboard. Uh, we can choose the collection view itself, the thing behind the cells, and give it a background color that is not just white. So we'll do, uh, say, black background color for that one. There we go. So it stands out much, much more. Let's try again. I press Command R again. Fantastic. So you can see it spaced them out. So the spacing on the left and right is matched. Uh, the big gap in the middle, so it aligns it neatly. It's not ideal, but it, what you'll see is uh, in landscape mode, it matches them so it fits more per row. And also if you go to iPad, it'll have even more, and iPad landscape even more again. So it works brilliantly depending on whatever screen size you have, it'll just have more cells as needed. 